everyone and welcome back to my channel. So go ahead and start off with your favorite base. I'm using this one. And this is by Beach Love Cosmetics. I like using it because it's pretty sticky. And it adheres to my shadows pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my lid up to my brow bone. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with this gorgeous color by Motives. And I believe this color is... enchanting sorry about that as you can see the payoff is extremely gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and use just a flat brush and I'm just gonna pack that on just up to my um, crease line and of course apply it on both lids So it should look like that pretty much when you're done. Now go ahead and get your favorite fluffy brush and I'm just pretty much just going to blend um, that color up and out. Now be very patient with this um, step. Um, the key is to pretty much just blend, blend, blend. I'm not using any other color at this point. I'm just doing a simple look using maybe three colors. So it should look like that after it's blended. So you just pretty much want to get rid of any harsh lines. I like doing this method because it's really easy if you're pretty much on the go. Anyway, sorry about that. I'm going to just take this um, flesh tone color and I'm just going to apply it um, right underneath my brow bone. This is optional. Just kind of get your transition going. I'm going to take this um, palette by Inglot and I'm going to take the white color there and the same fluffy brush I just um, cleaned it off and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone blending that again with the other color and I'm going to take this palette by Wet n Wild and I'm going to take the white color there um, it has a little shimmer in it and I'm taking this flat packing brush and I'm just going to apply that um, color to my tear duct just to open my eyes a bit. This makes a big difference, as you can see there. And I also applied a little bit on my um, brow bone as well. And again, I'm just going back, blending anything out that I missed or I didn't like. And I'm just packing on a little bit more of that um, purple enchanting, which is the color. I'm just um, uh, pretty much just applying anything that kind of just disappeared. And I'm going to take this gorgeous color. It's like a green emerald color. And these pencils are by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply that in my waterline as well as um, my lower lash line on the outer part. So it should look like that. I love this color. This just gives it a pop of color and I have brown eyes so it kind of pops it out. And I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite cream liner by e.l.f. with an angled brush and I'm just going to go ahead and do your classic winged out eyeliner. I'm going to take this gorgeous color by MAC Cosmetics and it's Tilt Frost. I love this color. I'm just going to apply that on the outer um, third of my eye. Right on top of that green. I've also did a tutorial using this color. Um, similar to this look how I just used one color on the lid. You should check it out. I'll leave the link in the bottom bar. And that same white color that we use in the tear duct and that went wild pile, I'm just applying that on my lower um, third of my uh, lash line. Then I'm going to take these gorgeous lashes by Katy Perry and I'm going to go ahead and apply them to my eye. 
easy way is to just let the glue dry for at least 20-30 seconds so it gets nice and tacky, apply it to the middle and then um, the, <laughs> sorry, apply it to the middle of your eye lash line and then the inner corner and the outer corner and you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get some, um, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and use my lash color and blend both my falsies and naturals together and use your favorite mascara, which I'm doing here, and just kind of blend them both together. And I'm doing the lower lash line. And it should look like that. Super simple and super gorgeous. Now it's time for the lippies. I'm going to use this gorgeous coral color by Lotus Cosmetics in the name Crush. I love these lipsticks. They're super, super, super hydrating. They're a must have in your lipstick collection. So that's pretty much it for your simple and sexy look. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm glad to be back and a lot more videos will be coming out soon. Love you guys. Bye.